you go. Uh, who the hell are you? Hi, do you hear me? Yeah, are you the guy in chat that I challenged you to debate? Yeah, yeah, sorry, man. I... So why exactly am I on the wrong side of history? Am I online right now? Yes. Okay, good man. Uh, I had no idea how this Discord thing worked, actually. I'm oh, sorry for that. Uh, this is the, actually the wrong moment for me to do this, uh, but I totally respect that you have me have me online here. But right, I will just need to have the YouTube video in the background. Sorry for that. No, uh, but like like short. Uh, I I see your comment session. It's like calling all Muslims like there is like no moderate Muslims, etc., which I find like total bullshit. I find that the situation in in uh, yeah. In so Alpha, we're talking about my views, not anything anybody comments. There are people in my fucking comment section that are fucking Nazi anti-Semites, and then they're fucking talking about how Israel needs to be destroyed. I I don't. I, I don't have control yeah. over my comment section. So again, tell me why yeah, yeah. am I on the wrong side of history? No. That was the proposition you made. No, okay. First, first thing, uh, you you put words in my mouth, and you told me that I was supposed to say that of oh, Israel and all this, and uh, like uh, yeah, the, the, let's uh, let's blow them up, etc. Th this is not it. What I what I see is that. Uh, the, the, this war didn't start like like last year. This is a long conflict, and if you look at it from the beginning. Oh, so got... Israel's guilty of original sin. So because they exist, oh, they okay. need to die. Is that what you're trying to say? No, no. You 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 are talking in a in a in a in, in a way like you're putting words in my mouth. I don't want, I don't of course don't want Israel dead. I have friends in Israel. I do business with the with the friends in history. Okay, so why am I on the wrong side of history? What's the problem? Yeah, because when you're when you're talking about this, what I, what I actually mean is uh, that all the unnecessary killing is a uh, you have you have you have to, to you have to uh, excuse my English here, but but uh, all the aggression that they have against Gaza, it's uh, unproportional. Is that the correct word? Uh, I'm sorry, after 1,200 Israeli citizens were fucking slaughtered by Hamas, you're telling me Israel has no right to defend themselves and take out the terrorist no. regime? No, that's not what I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying. Uh, that is what you're saying. But No. no okay, so, so tell me, what should Israel have done in response to the attack? Sorry, man. Yeah, Richard, you have a you have a way of putting words and other. No, people's no, I know exactly what you're fucking saying, and okay, you're what, just what hiding this shit under the guise of humanitarianism. I know exactly what all these fucking games oh, are. So tell me, what should Israel are, have done in you are, response? You are so black. You you are, you are so black and white. So uh, no, 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 I'm not. No, no, I'm not. So again, um, you're claiming the response was disproportionate. Um, any other country oh, yes. that had an attack against them like that, what the fuck do you think they do? Uh, they don't. Uh, they don't bomb hospitals, schools. Israel never directly bombed any hospitals. Oh, uh, yes, and the only did. schools? 32. No, they don't. 32. Show me one instance yes. where Israel literally shot at a hospital. One. There have been reports where a bomb went off near a hospital. And maybe some of the windows got damaged and shit like that. But show me one single report where an Israeli missile or rocket or artillery shell actually landed in a hospital. I don't think you can find me one instance of that. Okay, the, this uh, I'm actually on my phone uh, and uh, I have a hard time like uh, like like doing this at uh, this moment. But I would like to do it in the future. Believe me, because well, you can debate. We can set up a future debate if you find uh, any evidence of this. But uh, Israel's never attacked a hospital. The only the, o the the only thing that I've seen that came anywhere close was um, the hospital where there was an explosion that went off in the parking lot. And all evidence points to that being failed Hamas rocket.
that uh, was going into Israel, it failed, and then it landed in the hospital parking lot. And then everybody was immediately rushing to blame Israel. And then it turned out it wasn't even Israel. It was fucking Hamas. Okay. But uh, but please, get, uh, let's get back to that one. So again, but, you, you, you're I, making the claim that Israel's response is disproportionate or unreasonable. Yeah. And yeah. So what? What's yeah, they, your? They, they, they have been doing this. They have been doing this since forever. It's a legal settlement. They have they have gone into. They're not illegal settlements. Uh, they have gone into other people's So they're not illegal settlements, wait, and wait, the West Bank wait, has wait, nothing wait, wait, to do with this. We're talking about fucking Gaza. Please, so why are you bringing please, up the West Bank please, when we were talking about please, Gaza? They have, they have been taking people's land. They have been taking people's houses. And when they Th don't that, that's leave, that's they great. Have, have I don't care. Question. We were talking about Israel's care. response to the Hamas October 7th attack. Why yeah, do you but the think war didn't, the war didn't start there? Uh, OK, well, buddy, you'll bring up a topic like October 7th. Okay, okay. Tell tell okay, me so that their response was disproportionate. Then when I so push wait, back, wait, then wait, you start wait, talking wait, about wait. the West Bank. Then you bring up like fucking like, like 1948 or something like stick to one fucking topic. Yeah, but it, it's all the same topic, of course. Everything is no, a it's response not. Of, of some. Okay, in your mind, it isn't. I'm, I'm really sorry because you are very black and white. Because everything is a response of something else. It's just a long timeline of responses. You, uh, you, you really don't see this, really. Well, you know what? Uh, fundamentally, the problem here is that uh, Arabs hate Jews. They've hated Jews ever since uh, they started moving into that area that was referred to as Palestine. The uh, religious leader at the time, the Mufti, um, I think his name was al Husseini. he met with Hitler and was trying to convince Hitler to come into Palestine and exterminate all the fucking Jews. There has been a long history of anti-Semitism uh, with the Arab people in that region. So, um... In 1948, when there was the partition plan proposed, Arabs got pissed off because they were disgusted that dirty fucking Jews were going to set, set up a state um, in that territory. So they started a war, which they lost. And since then, they've been crying like babies, acting like they're the victims when they were the ones who started the fucking violence. And, and, and it's just been like that since then. Um, like, again, these people are professional victims. They claim they're refugees, even though under no definition of refugee does any other refugee group get to claim refugee status like they do. Even when people, uh, even like the, the grandchildren or great grandchildren of people who are displaced, they still call themselves refugees. They're just professional victims. If they wanted to live in a peaceful, pros uh, prosperous society next to Israel, they wouldn't shoot rockets into Israel. They wouldn't bomb buses. They wouldn't bomb buildings. They wouldn't try to fucking stab and kill fucking Israeli pregnant women. So, uh, no, uh, Israel is only acting in self-defense. Every fucking time uh, Israel has committed, conducted military action, it's because... The re retarded fucking professional victims have attacked Israel and its people, and then they act like fucking crybabies every time they lose. They're professional victims, professional fucking losers. And with all this stupid attitude that, oh, Israel's being overly violent, Israel needs to calm down, yeah, Israel's are. aggressive, you're giving them exactly what they want, and they're going to keep fucking doing the shit because in their fucking retarded minds, they think they're winning. They're getting the sympathy that they want. And in, in their minds, that justifies more violence against Israel. So if you want to have the stupid fucking attitude that Israel's being overly aggressive, okay, cool. Convince more fucking Palestinians to go kill themselves, blow themselves up in fucking bus bombings, or shoot rockets from apartment buildings. And then again, they get to cry and act like a fucking victim when Israel okay. retaliates. So, so you think that it's justified that 10,000 kids are dying in the bombings? You, you can't even, you, you no, cannot no, wait, even no, wait, verify those no, numbers. I'm asking you, 
You cannot oh, okay. even verify you those are, numbers. You are, okay. So we, okay. yeah. So you mentioned so ten thousand. You Richard, mentioned ten thousand kids no, dying. No, 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 no. Please, please. Wait. Yeah. So you so just let's, mentioned let's, ten thousand kids dying. I just asked you to wait. Yeah. So you, you, no, 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 no. You just mentioned ten thousand no, 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 no. kids are dying. You cannot qualify those numbers. Those numbers are coming from the Palestinian Health Authority, which are run by Hamas, and it's being proven that they're overcounting child and female deaths and undercounting adult male deaths. They won't even show any militant uh, casualty figures in their numbers. So there's no way of knowing how many kids died. Could be close to 10,000, could be far less. We don't know. Um, but in either case, even assuming those numbers are real, you're talking about warfare in a dense urban population with a very low median age. Most people living in Gaza are extremely young, so if you have a military operation being conducted in Gaza, you would expect there to be more young people dying just because of the fucking um, uh, population statistics. And on top of that, Hamas uses human shields. They were given billions of dollars to update their fucking infrastructure. What did they do? They made terror tunnels so that they could protect their own fucking terrorist pieces of shit. Uh, they created no civilian infrastructure, like bomb shelters, to protect any civilians from these bombings. And they deliberately set up shit like rocket batteries on apartment buildings so that more civilians get killed. They have done everything to maximize uh, civilian casualties because they think that gives them a PR opportunity to get more support from other countries to, uh, you know, to get rid of, a, uh, to make, uh, make sure... Um, other governments don't give Israel aid. So they're trying to maximize civilian casualties. They're trying to kill as many civilians as possible. And then you're blaming Israel for it. Does that make any fucking sense? Um, can we, can we, can we, can we please go back uh, to the, to, to how many people have, uh, have died? I, I said 10,000 kids. Do you remember how many grown ups I said? I don't know if I actually said it. But uh, but my numbers uh, are forty two thousand plus. But according to the United Nations, it's uh, thirty four thousand. Yeah, thirty four thousand people. Yeah, that In includes the, Hamas uh, terrorists. No, yeah, okay. If we think they are thirty four thousand, uh, the majority of those are civilians. But no, no, I'm it's saying. not. No, it's actually yes, not. Yes. No, okay, no. Okay, okay. So um, according to UN, the United well, Nations the United Nations is, Nations is getting their so the United Nations is relying okay, on mortality wrong, statistics. Yeah, the United Nations is relying on, on mortality statistics from who, the Palestinian Health Authority, which is controlled by Hamas. So that doesn't really mean anything. The United Nations is who? getting their numbers from other NGOs that are relying on the Palestinian Health Authority figures. So you're literally just saying this is what the Palestinian Health Authority claims. Dude, okay. So United Nations is not a uh, like legit source of information. Is that what it is? That no. What um, oftentimes they are not a reputable source of information because they're like again they're relying on other NGOs to uh, <clears throat> you know calculate mortality figures and they're relying on the Palestinian Health Authority. Uh, and okay, again, but okay. uh, Israel, okay. the United no States, no the UK, no way, way, way. Um, they they have all estimated a two to one militant to civilian casualty ratio. That is the best yeah, okay. militant to civilian casualty ratio of any urban warfare operation in modern history. So uh, oh, again, what is your okay, argument? Wait. Richard. What wait, is your Richard, argument Richard. that Israel is acting Listen. inappropriately or disproportionately? Even under okay. circumstances where Hamas is trying to maximize here. civilian casualties so that they can get sympathy Dude. from dipshits like you, Israel is still able to have the best militant to civilian casualty ratio you have of no any way. modern military uh, conducting urban operations. You're a fucking bad mouth, Richard. I, I, you see, I, I actually love like watching your old videos. I love like you being that kind of like type of person, but you are actually pretty rude when I'm like talking to you. I'm, I'm not being rude. Show. I'm giving an argument against what oh, yes, what you, you just are. said. No, no, I'm giving an argument against what you just said. You, so uh, again. Your argument listen, was listen, listen. your argument Shut was up. too many civilians have died. I gave you a reason why so many civilians have died. I've also pointed okay. out that 
Israel has still managed to have a better militant civilian casualty ratio of any other military conducting urban operations. So again, what is your argument that what Israel is doing is unethical? I don't give a fuck if they are doing the urban warfare. Listen, according to the UN, and don't interrupt me, please. According to the UN, it was 34,000. According to the, according uh, to to Israel, it's 8,000 Hamas warriors. No, and it's 16 to 18,000. Okay, then it's updated now. But uh, the, oh, sorry, the 29th of December, the IDF said 8,000 of in total 30. Okay. In total 30. Okay. So 22,000 22, civilians. And you are talking okay. about these people, like, like their lives don't, don't, don't really matter. And I think it's a fucked up way of discussing. I'm not claiming their lives don't matter. I'm just recognizing the reality that people die in warfare. Guess how many German civilians yeah. died during World War II? 500,000. So guess what? This is what happens in warfare. Uh, Israel has had the best militant to civilian casualty ratio of any modern military conducting urban warfare operations. So if you recognize that Israel has a right to defend itself, it has a right to conduct these operations because of the horrific atrocities Hamas has committed and has committed to continue committing, then what is the problem exactly? Like, again, if you think, like, are, are you claiming Israel has no right to invade Gaza and attack Hamas? It's a, it's a hard fucking question. It actually is. Okay, so it, so no, Jews wait, just need wait, to die. Wait. Jews just need oh, to die. They have no right to defend themselves. Look, look you, you, you literally, I, I asked you a plain and simple fucking question. Does Israel have a right to defend itself, invade Gaza, and take out Hamas? Clearly, they need to do that for national security reasons. And then you tell me, well, it's a hard question. No, it's not. Either Israel has a right to defend itself or it does not. So are you okay with Jews just dying? I, I guess when Hamas uh, like literally no. fucking slaughters children, they put not. babies in ovens, they've shot down and gunned 11-year-old girls, they captured women and raped them and tortured them to death. When, like, when like, have they put children in ovens? Uh, that they they literally put please, they please literally show, put babies in ovens. Them. There was even a forensic report. Please, Dumbass, please there was even there, there was even a forensic report where they burnt a, mo a mother please and her child me. alive. They found a fucking burnt husk of like flesh. There was a forensic report. They they uh, brought it through an MRI scanning machine, and they found out it was a mother gripping her child while she was doused in gasoline, and both of them were burnt when they were fucking alive. Please, That's what Hamas did. Yeah, but Israel, they, I mean, they did the same thing at the hospitals. They tied people at their back and burned them alive. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, what are you you, you're about? telling me Israel has invaded I a have... hospital, tied people up, doused them in gasoline, and burnt them alive. This is the report that, rather, that we got from the news station in Sweden. Totally correct. And I have no idea where you get your information from. I have no idea, man. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, by the way, a lot of this was fucking videotaped. Like, this was on GoPro. The world okay, saw please. this. Please show me it. I, I have no idea what you are talking about. Let me see. I have um, no idea. I, I'm, I'm, I'm being truthful. I have no idea what you are talking Israel, about. Israel. And I'm, trying, and I'm really um, trying, 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 trying to be hostile like with you, Richard. I'm really, really not. Israel uh, forensics uh, burnt body. Here you go. Ah, oh, damn it. Give me a second. Um, there's the link. So here's so here's um, an article about the forensic report. 
where they found burnt bodies. One of the burnt bodies they found, uh, it was a CT scan. It was an adult and a child who were bound together and they're doused in gasoline and set on fire. Um, they literally burnt a woman and her child <sighs> together alive. That's what yeah. fucking Hamas did. This was a confirmed. Uh, this was confirmed with forensic investigation. So there you go. Hamas has burnt. So Hamas has invaded Israel, tortured and killed fucking children, and you're telling me. Well, I'm not sure if Israel has a right to invade Gaza and uh, defeat Hamas. Because, like, you know, Jews don't really deserve to live. Because, uh, you know, they're Jews. Oh, so, true. you know, if Hamas invades and kills people, well, who really cares? It's not that big of a deal. And, I mean, if Hamas uh, gets, uh, you know, killed by Israel, well, that's Arabs getting killed. And Arabs matter more than Jews. No. No. Of course not. So, again, uh, not. okay, okay. It, if you acknowledge what Hamas did was fucking terrible, uh, they've been terrible to Israel for a fucking long while now. Um, they're responsible for, what, close to um, 2,000 Israeli deaths total at least? Um, please tell me, what should Israel have done in response to these attacks? Like, like you claim, oh, the the response is disproportionate, which I totally fucking disagree with. Yeah, um, but, what should yeah, Israel have done? But, but all this, are, uh, yeah, but this, uh, but this, this response is a total fiasco. Even if it's thirty-two or thirty-four or forty-two thousand people, which includes like something between like seven till ten, twelve thousand kids. Please, it's it's totally unproportional. And you wouldn't have. This. Yeah, so stupid. Uh, yeah, no so way, no so way. no, uh, no. It's no, not. It, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't, what, what the? Talk, what do you, you mean by disproportionate? Talk. What? So sorry. What do you mean by you disproportionate? Would, Explain have, that. You wouldn't. You wouldn't have talked uh, like 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 in this way if it wasn't Arabs getting killed. Uh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I, I don't care. I don't no, care no, about this moralizing no, no. bullshit. What do you mean by disproportionate? Do the same thing. What do you mean by disproportionate? Really, I, what do I you mean by that. disproportionate? What I, what, what I just said, I listen. What I just said, I really didn't mean that. Because what do you mean by direct, disproportionate? No way, way. What do you mean by disproportionate? We are two people talking here, Richard. What do you mean by disproportionate? No, I'm not. I'm not doing this. You're. You're having. Oh, I, I'm not making arguments. I, I'm not going to get held accountable for anything I say. I'm not going to clarify any of my positions because if I do that, you're going to be able to make an argument against me. So again, you said the attack was disproportionate. What do you mean by disproportionate? That uh, that amount of people has been killed. That's what I mean. So Israel should have allowed Hamas to kill more civilians so that Israel could kill more people in Gaza? No. Like, like I, I don't understand what you mean. Like, that, that still isn't a good explanation of disproportionate. So uh, 1,200 Israeli civilians got killed. You're telling me Israel is not allowed to complete a military objective that would ensure the um, security of the nation. Okay, so let's let's see. Like uh, um, uh, we 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 can probably find like how many houses, how many hospitals, how many schools, how many re refugee camps they have been bombing. It's unproportional. It really, really is. Okay, so. Arabs they, need to kill more kill Jews, people. is what you're telling me. Uh, unfortunately, they, not enough Jewish people died they are not, to give Israel they, justification to do what they're doing. So you would not, rather have had more Jews die. You'd rather have half of Israel no, wiped out. You'd no, rather have like 50,000 no, Jews killed so that Israel would no, have justification to do what they're doing. No, I wouldn't have. Well, tell me, how many Jews have to die in order to justify what Israel's doing? Tell me, give me a number. So we know the, the number is 1,200. I think uh, right now exactly it's 11,989 uh, or something like that. Tell me how many like people that. in Gaza has to die. Tell me how many people. 
Hamas. Uh, as Hamas. many as it Hamas. takes to eliminate Hamas. Uh, the and only thing I care matter. about is and things it, like militant civilian casualty ratios. Israel has to and use reasonable means to avoid civilian casualties. Uh, ideally, they'd have militant to civilian casualties. Yes, so okay, great, great. So now you're interrupting me. So again, I'm outlining well, we're, we're what my moral standards are. And then when I'm outlining my moral standards, you're interrupting me. Okay. So again, yeah, what I'm concerned with, way. what I'm concerned with is whether or not Israel mm. is abiding by legal standards for warfare. So if they're not intentionally targeting right. civilians, if they're able to keep a militant to civilian casualty ratio, ideally below four, right now it's two to one. Again, best militant to civilian casualty ratio of any military conducting urban warfare operations. Um, and as long as they're able to facilitate the uh, movement of humanitarian aid, so food, medicine, crap like that, that people need uh, to prevent indirect deaths from the conflict, then I, I don't really care how many people have to die in order to eliminate Hamas. As long as they're abiding by laws of warfare, then I would say what they're doing is ethical. That is their military objective. It is a perfectly reasonable Good. military objective to Good. ensure national security. Good. Okay. So again, what I'm asking you is what do you, so how many Jews needed to die on October 7th to justify what Israel is doing? Did it need to be 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000? How many Jews are you comfortable with dying to permit them to actually, you know, do something to ensure national security? So you are actually saying that you would uh, you, you would uh, you would be fine to kill millions uh, of Arabs? I I just I, this is a, a pointless question. Yes, I just yes. outlined my statement. You There's no a, reason to ask this because I literally just uh, I literally just answered. Now you're dodging my questions. So again, no, you said the no, response no. is disproportionate. You still haven't given me a definition of what disproportionate means. You've only alluded to some vague idea that far more Arabs have died compared to uh, Israeli Jews. So again, tell me, how many Israeli Jews had I to have see. died for you to be comfortable with Israel conducting its military operations? Only about 1,200 Jews died. Did it have to be 20,000, 30,000, 50,000? Give me a number. 1,200. 1,200. What I am saying, Richard... Is, I don't you're think dodging my is. question. Uh, you're dodging my question. The only thing that should come out of your mouth is an answer to my question. What number of Jews had to die strong. during October 7th to justify the their military operations? Wrong. The premise is wrong. The premise is wrong here. What I am saying is I, 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 I totally believe that Israel uh, see this as an opportunity to take over the land and kill as many people as possible. Okay, cool story. So apparently you can read minds. Um, so maybe oh. you should maybe you should turn that into a job. Uh, maybe you should turn that into the job. Maybe you should work for some sort of intelligence agency like the FBI or CIA. You'll be able to collect tons of evidence on terrorists, criminals, uh, because that's an amazing ability you have that you can read the Israeli government's mind. So uh, again, I asked you, <clears throat> How many Jews had to die on October 7th for their military operations to be justified? I'm not answering that question because it, it, it's... it's yeah, because it makes you look like a fucking moron, okay? So you still haven't given me a definition of what proportionate is and the idea that a certain amount of fucking Jews have to die to justify military operations in Gaza is fucking insane and you know it. You're literally fucking claiming the only way Israel has a justification to invade Gaza and take out Hamas is if more Jews die. You know that sounds fucking insane, and that's why you won't answer my fucking question. Yeah. So I read you right yeah. from the very that's beginning. That's that's You're a fucking anti-Semite. You hate Jews. You want to see more Jews die. You've literally already admitted that you wanted more Jews to die on October 7th. You, you want proportionality, right? You want proportionality. So you want at least a proportional amount of Jews to die to Arabs. So again, uh, do, do you want like 40,000 Jews to die? Maybe more? Do you want more Jews to die than Arabs? Tell me. Of course I don't want anybody to die, Richard. 
Well, if you don't want anybody to die, then you should be in favor of taking uh, Israel's military uh, operations and killing Hamas. Because with Hamas in power, there's going to be more fucking terror attacks. They're going to put their own civilians at risk. Hamas conducts terror operations fucking constantly. They're the reason for all of these fucking conflicts between Israel and Gaza. If you want the bloodshed to end, if you want the killing to end, if you want to save civilians, then you should be supporting Israel and taking out Hamas. Do you want Hamas to stay in power? Do you want them to keep fucking launching attacks against Israel? Do you want them to keep giving Israel, uh, you know, a, a, a good reason to invade? Do you want them to give uh, Israel a reason to kill more civilians? No. So are you in favor of Israel destroying Hamas, yes or no? Yes, yes I am. Okay, so you're in favor of Israel taking out Hamas. So yeah, that completely, but, 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 that completely but, 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 contradicts your fucking previous statement. So, no, uh, no, it no, no, it does. No. no, it does. Because you literally just said Israel's invasion is completely unjustified because of proportionality. More Jews had to die to justify it. And again, you won't give me a number. You won't explain what you mean by proportionality. So, oh, okay, uh, I guess you're walking back your statement. So now <laughs> Israel is justified no, no, with no, the invasion. No, Richard, Richard, Richard. What, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I'm saying is that they don't give a fuck about civilian people. Oh, they, oh okay, wait, wait, they are, wait. They are, they are what, what is your evidence that Israel doesn't give a fuck about people. civilians? So Israel, yeah, but Israel still, drops still, leaflets. Shut, 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 quiet. Israel drops leaflets warning civilians that a, an airstrike is about to happen. They call buildings. They actually have a telephone network system to warn buildings that they need to evacuate. They send out QR codes by phone telling uh, civilians where strike zones are and where to evacuate to safe zones. They've also facilitated the uh, movement of humanitarian aid. So uh, tons of food has entered Gaza. They have actually been able to provide they as much food into Gaza. They have been able to provide as much food into Gaza as there was pre-war. So much food has been moving in. Quiet, 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 quiet. I'm making an argument, quiet. You're not going to interrupt me. You're not going to interrupt me. I'm making my fucking point. You can respond after. No, quiet. I'm making my point. You can respond after. So they're uh, allowing the, the, they're facilitating humanitarian aid to go through. They're uh, providing plenty of food and resources for people to sustain themselves. Um, and again, they have the lowest militant to civilian casualty ratio of any modern military conducting urban warfare operations. It's about a two to one casualty ratio. So when you claim Israel doesn't give a fuck about civilians, Please explain to me why they're doing all of these things to protect civilians, and please explain explain to me why the militant to civilian casualty ratio isn't isn't lower. Your numbers is false. Two to one. Where do you get these numbers from? It's a two to one militant to civilian casualty ratio. You can. Um, Dr. Avi has actually compiled data on this. Um, you, you, um, uh, so Dr. Avi's compiled data on this. The uh, Israeli military has released Israel. figures. The um, uh, there, There's also figures coming out of uh, the United Who's States, Dr. the CIA. Uh, you, you can look at Who all of these Dr. fucking Dr. figures. All of these military experts who are looking at the conflict, they have all stated there's about a two to one civil, uh, militant to civilian casualty ratio. No, this is not, this is not true, man. Oh, okay, so let's just deny reality. Uh, oh, the Earth is flat. Oh, NASA never went to the moon. Okay, great. So, it, look, if you're going to deny reality and just deny any fucking numbers that don't align with your stupid viewpoint, I don't know what to fucking tell you. The reality is, whether you like it or not, the militant to civilian casualty ratio is at two to one. So get fucked, okay? That's the reality. If you want to spread anti-Semitic fucking bullshit and say the militant to civilian casualty ratio is worse because you hate Jews and you want to make up whatever fucking bullshit you want to make it seem as though the state of Israel is run by evil, sick, twisted Jews, well, that just isn't true and you're just an anti-Semitic fucking retard. The militant to civilian casualty ratio is two to one whether you like it or not. That is not something that you can use to fucking... 
to, to make it seem as though Israel's evil. So come up with some other stupid fucking idea, okay? Yeah. Tell, tell us how you can read the minds of all Jews and you know they're evil, they're sick, they're twisted, they want to exterminate the Palestinian race. Tell us about your mind reading abilities. That's a better argument than lying about facts and figures. The fact is the militant to civilian casualty ratio is two to one, you fucking moron. So again, again, back to your original statement, you said Israel does not give a fuck about civilians. Then please explain the civilian to casual, uh, the militant to civilian casualty ratio. Explain to me their systems of warning civilians of strikes. Explain to me the safe zones. Explain to me the facilitation of humanitarian aid. Those are all things that suggest to me they care about civilians. They bombed the safe zones. Yeah, uh, they, they made targeted them. strikes against uh, Hamas operatives within the safe zones. They didn't just bomb the safe zones, dumbass. Yeah, of course, because everybody is Hamas, right? And who is Hamas? Nobody, nobody claimed that. No, nobody, nobody claimed that. Nobody, no, nobody claimed that. Nobody claimed don't that. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. They have please. made... They, so, again, don't none of that. Don't none of that. Richard, you just please. spread falsehoods. They didn't just bomb safe zones. They used low yield explosives to take out Hamas terrorists that were embedded within the safe zones. They're still trying to minimize civilian casualties. They're not using 2,000 pound bombs to kill everyone within a fucking safe zone. So again, please explain to me how Israel's operations uh, you know, show that they don't care about civilians when there's a two to one militant to civilian casualty ratio. They warn about bombings, they create safe zones, and they facilitate humanitarian aid. That isn't. It's not two to one. Where do you get this information from? Gray, okay, I, 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 I'm not, I, I, I don't care about your delusional bullshit, okay? If you want to believe the Earth is flat and man didn't, at, uh, never, m like, made it to I'm the moon, you. great. I don't you. care. I'm not what? interested in debating whether or not the Earth is fucking flat, okay? It's a two-to-one militant to civilian casualty ratio. You can look up the figures yourself. You can uh, look Where? up estimates. You can Please. even look up estimates from fucking different NGOs. Don't fucking care, Okay. Every military expert in Israel, in the United States, in the UK, in Europe, everybody looking at this conflict is all saying it's a two to one militant to civilian casualty ratio. So move on to a different argument. You can talk about how you're, you have mind reading capabilities and you're able to just tell that Jews are evil by reading their mind. This isn't a good argument. So please explain to me how Israelis don't give a fuck about Jew. Uh, sorry, give a fuck about Arabs or Palestinians when they create safe zones, they give out QR codes, they give pamphlets, they, they like they facilitate humanitarian aid. Please explain if they don't give a fuck about civilians. Uh, I don't. I don't find these uh, these numbers that you are talking about two to one. I don't. I don't. Find That's great. I, I don't care. Uh, I, 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 I am not interested in debating flat earthers or 9-11 uh, truthers or anybody else who denies reality. So that's great. You can say whatever the fuck you... I, I don't see the number. I, I never seen the number. I, I, the, the militant civilian casualty ratio, it couldn't be two to one. Great. I don't care. If you're an ignorant moron, you're an ignorant moron. I can't do anything to fucking change that. So please explain how Israel doesn't give a fuck about civilians when they warn about bombings, they send out pamphlets, QR codes, phone buildings, create safe zones, and they facilitate humanitarian aid. Please explain to me how Israel doesn't give a fuck about civilians because all of those things suggest they care about civilians. Okay, uh, they have they have destroyed people's homes. They, they, this is before uh, this is before last year. They have taken people's homes. They have uh, taken people's lands. They have uh, been uh, they have been imprisoning children when they are protesting. I mean, okay, okay. So you don't have an argument. You, you're talking about the West Bank. You're talking about the 13 year old kids who tried to stab a pregnant woman because they were uh, Hamas well, members. And they literally tried to kill innocent Israelis, so they got sent to military prison. 
I, I don't I, I don't care. OK, that's great. They steal people's homes in the West Bank. You mean when uh, what you're talking about there, by the way, is uh, those homes were owned by Jews when Jordan uh, ended up taking over the West Bank. Palestinians were moved into those areas and they were literally squatting on the land when the West Bank was literally was uh, later returned to Israel. Israeli Jews went back to their homes in the West Bank and they noticed that Palestinians were squatting on their homes. So they got a court order to evict them because they don't legally own the home. That's what you're talking about. And by the way, it's completely fucking irrelevant. I asked you in this conflict in Gaza, what is the evidence that Israel doesn't give a fuck about civilians? Then you completely change the topic and you start talking about terror attacks committed by 13 year old kids or homes getting repossessed no, by did. Jews in the West Bank. You did. What the fuck does that have to do with what I asked you? You did. You did. Uh, I wasn't talking about terrorist attacks uh, by 13. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Okay, like, like dude, no, no, I, 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 I know I know these stupid games. I know these stupid fucking games, okay? I, I'm, I, I'm too smart for this, so it doesn't work. I know these stupid games. Anybody who knows anything about these stupid fucking talking points, oh, Israel arrests children. We all know what you're fucking talking about, okay? So, great. Move they're on. Inhumane. They're, they're totally inhumane. That's great. Uh, we, we all know what you're talking about, okay? We, we all know what you're talking about. The children that are getting arrested by Israel are fucking terrorists. They've committed terror attacks. That's why they're arrested. So, I don't care. What the fuck does that have to do with your claim that Israel doesn't give a fuck about civilians in Gaza? Again, when Israel uh, facilitates humanitarian aid, when they provide safe zones, give out QR codes and pamphlets warning when they're going to strike, and on top of that, the two to one militant to civilian casualty ratio that you keep denying because you're a fucking idiot. Please explain all of these things that Israel, Israel is doing, which suggests that they do in fact give a fuck about civilians. Please explain, you can't explain this away. You're just gonna change the topic. You know, Israel, they arrested a child? Did you know that? Did you know that, uh, Israel, they took people home in the West Bank? Did you know that? That has nothing to do with what I asked you, nothing to do with the fucking war in Gaza. So are you going to acknowledge that Israel cares about, uh, you know, Palestinian civilians or not? Or are you just going to make up some other stupid fucking excuse? I still think it's, uh, it's, um, uh, it's, it's a total di 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 disrespect of human life, what, uh, what they have been doing and what they are doing. That's uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, okay, plus, okay. So uh, it's a total disrespect of human no life. No way. So again, they've warned yeah. civilians where strike zones are. They've asked them to evacuate. They've created safe zones. They've that's facilitated matter. humanitarian aid. That's but for matter. some reason, they have no respect for human life. Please, uh, please explain to me how any of that adds up. Dude, I mean. See, I I don't trust the, the state of Israel. I don't trust the... I don't the trust the dirty the, Jews. The Jews, they sell me car, and uh, car cost more than what it was really worth. Car was only $7,000, but Jews sold it to me for $9,000. I don't trust the Jew. I don't fucking care, dude. You fucking claimed like Israel does not care about human life. You you claim that they have a complete and utter disrespect for the Palestinian people. Again, please explain how uh, like like how this adds up. They don't care about Palestinians. They don't care about their lives. Then why are they sending out pamphlets telling them to evacuate? Why do they call buildings, hospitals, schools, telling them to evacuate? Why do they create safe zones? Why do they facilitate humanitarian aid if they don't care? It doesn't add up. Can you give an explanation? Yeah. I, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still just saying that uh, I think, uh, and I uh, you know that you were saying, oh, you read minds and all this. I mean, 
just just look at how people look at the, the lives of the people that are living there. People wouldn't do the same thing if they were if they were white people. They wouldn't do this. Uh, that that's great. Uh, so if a bunch of uh, fucking look, if a bunch of blonde, blue high, blue eyed retards jumped the fucking Gazan border, slaughtered Jewish people, Israel wouldn't have any fucking problem killing blonde, blue eyed people. This isn't about race. This is about national security. Israel has about a twenty percent Arab minority who have Israeli citizenship living within Israel. They have the exact same rights as any other person who has Israeli citizenship, including fucking Jews. Clearly, the state of Israel is not racist. They don't just hate Arabs based on them being Arab. Arabs in Israel have the exact same rights under the law. It's a secular, democratic, liberal government. This isn't about them being Arab. This is about them being a, 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 this is about terrorist organizations conducting terror operations against Israel. Wouldn't matter who the fucking color uh, of these people are, what eye color they have, skin color, clearly has nothing to fucking do with that. And again, you changed the topic. You claimed Israel doesn't care about uh, Arab civilians or Palestinian civilians. Then please give your explanation for why Israel warns people about strikes, gives out QR codes with strike zones and safe zones. Why do they facilitate humanitarian aid? And why is the militant to civilian casualty ratio two to one? The best militant they're, they're, to civilian casualty ratio of any urban warfare operation if they don't care about civilians. It doesn't add up. It, okay, the best urban, urban warfare is like uh, almost a thousand people of the healthcare system uh, has uh, has been killed. I mean, uh, we're talking about militant to civilian many. casualty ratios. I, I it, it doesn't matter what the total numbers are. We're talking about militant to civilian casualty ratios. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, civilians die in war. That's nothing new, dude. Civilians die in war. That's nothing new. So again, your claim, yeah, your claim was that it, your claim. You're still dodging the question. Your claim is that Israel doesn't care about civilians, particularly Palestinian civilians. Please yeah. explain why why they're going through all these steps to avoid civilian casualties and provide humanitarian aid. What's your explanation? Because it's war and they want to look the best, right? Oh, okay. I, I can it, read. I can read really the minds bad? of Jews. They really want to exterminate all the Arabs, and they're just doing this to make it seem as though they care. But really, right? Okay. So you have mind reading capabilities. So you you have yeah. So you have mind reading capabilities. Got it. Yeah, you can read minds. You you really should get a job. You really should get a job in some sort of intelligence agency interrogating people because you'd be great at that. Right. You ask me for a fucking answer, man. Right, like, you can read minds. You, you, you can read minds. You gave me the answer. That's great. So um, you Dude, have you no sound, fucking... You so, yeah. So stupid when you say that. You have no fucking... You, you, you have so no justifiable that. basis for making the claims you have. And it's clear just, you stupid. are an anti-Semite who hates uh, Jews. Jews can do everything fucking perfectly they can act better than any modern military you still criticize them because you claim you can read their minds and you can just tell they have an evil mind you're an anti-semite and you fucking hate jews like like that that's it you have not been able to give me any justifiable reason for any of the fucking opinions you have all you rely on is well i can just read their minds i know they're evil you, you just hate Jews. You're a fucking racist, anti-Semite, and you hate Jews. This is fucking bullshit. This is all fucking bullshit. That, that's great. You, you can say that all you want, but when, I, when you make claims like Israel doesn't give a fuck about Arab civilians, and then when I ask you, okay, why are they doing all of these humanitarian efforts, the only answer you can give me is, well, I can read their mind and I know they're evil. You are racist. No. You hate Jews. That is the reality. Oh, yeah. You're a piece of shit. It's not my fault. The stupid shit that comes out of your mouth is fucking retarded. You are. I gave you a really, really good answer on that one. I, I gave you a good answer. I can read minds. I noticed when I was child 
I could read minds. I would read parent mind. I would ask parent for money or cookie or ice cream. And then my parent would say, sorry, we don't have any money and we don't have any ice cream, but I could read their mind and I knew they had money and ice cream. You sound so retarded, man. Uh huh, right. This is coming from the guy who claims to be able to read minds. So again, since we've established that you have no justifiable basis for making any of the fucking claims you made against Israel, uh, you're an anti-Semite. Please explain to me what Israel should have done in response to October 7th. And you, and you have no respect for human life. Okay, that's great. I don't care. We're, we're past that topic. You have no justifiable reason for having any of the stupid-ass opinions you have. The only answer you could give me is you're a mind reader. So tell me, uh, what should Israel have done in response to October 7th? They shouldn't have fucking started a fucking urban warfare that has uh, taken over 40... Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. The anti-Semite saying, well, Jews should just die. They should just live with it. Um, Jews don't, uh, don't deserve to live. They have no fucking rights as a nation. Uh, they have no right to uh, national security. Yeah, and when there's an invading terrorist force that tries to exterminate them, then they have no right to retaliate. There you go. This guy is a massive anti-Semite. He wants Jews to die. He's a holocaust. He he wants a second holocaust. Oh, you are still. You you literally just said Jews should never have fucking um you know invaded Gaza in response to October seventh, which again is a complete contradiction from what you said earlier, saying that yeah they do have a right to invade and attack Hamas. So you're full of shit. Uh, you're just you're just a crypto fascist, and you're saying this shit. Because you know, if you actually time. shared your real viewpoints, so people would time. think you're a fucking crazy lunatic. You're trying to hide all of your anti-Semitic bullshit under the guise of humanitarianism when nothing you're saying supports humanitarianism. When, when Israel actually supports humanitarianism, you fucking say, I can read their minds and I know they're evil. They cannot do anything that would satisfy you because you just hate Jews. And you've literally just admitted Israel should have conducted no military operations in response to October 7th. Do you think the only way to do it is like respond yes. to do a yes. warfare? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Should, okay, should Israel have sung, like, okay. sung Kumbaya? Would that have helped? Should, would okay. singing Kumbaya, maybe if they, like, it made a really good hip-hop dance, would that have helped? Maybe if they just gave, like, Hamas really good fucking falafel, they, they would have stopped attacking. Maybe they can't get any good falafel in Palestine. All the good falafels in Israel. If Israel just gave them the good falafel, then Hamas wouldn't attack. All they want is falafel. You're a fucking racist. Dude, uh... You're a racist? Uh, not all Arabs like falafel. We also lack, uh, euros. We also lack, uh, licorice. Uh, great. Okay, so again, tell me, what should Israel have done in response to October 7th? Is the answer nothing? They shouldn't have started a fucking urban warfare that would have that, that has taken. Uh, so that yeah, so so you're saying Israel should have done absolutely nothing. Uh, Jews don't deserve to live. They don't deserve to have national security. And if uh, Muslim jihadist terrorists that want to exterminate them kill them, well, too bad. You're Jews. You don't deserve to live. That's your answer. Can you name one other fucking country where if a neighbor invaded them and killed their people like that? That would like they accept that, like like that's just retarded. Fucking Cuba. Cuba. What? Cuba. Uh, I mean, uh, America's war against uh, against Cuba. Are you like? Do you think that they ha have you like? Did you take a short bus to school? Did, did you ever notice that all, all the kids in your class like drooled and had funny looking teeth? When you wrote tests in crayon, did the teacher always tell you good job even when you didn't even give any answers and you just scribbled on the paper? Please, please man, talk to me instead, please. 
So again, you're still not answering the question, what should Israel have done in response to October 7th? Dude, dude, what they what they should have done is to fucking kill uh, kill the people that that did this. But what they have done with this urban warfare, where they, where they have yeah, that's still not an explanation. People. Tell me what they should have done. What military tactics tactics should they have used? What type of troops should they have used? What weapons? What munitions? Uh, should they have used armor or not? Tell me what. what since you're a military expert, and apparently you know more oh, about yeah, conducting yeah. military operations than yeah. Israel's own military, give me the exact military strategy they should have used to conduct urban warfare operations. Uh, of course you can do that, Richard. Oh, okay, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no idea, but I just know that Israel evil. I can read minds. I'm stupid, but I can read minds, which technically makes me smarter because I can read smart people mind. I just need to go to military base and read Israel okay. Jew mind, and I know they evil. Okay. Okay. Um... So do you think it's fucking ridiculous to claim Israel is conducting unethical urban warfare operations while claiming you have no fucking idea how they should conduct urban warfare? Do you think that's a little silly? Uh, like, do you have kids? Would you listen to, like, your kids telling you how to fucking drive? Like, when you're driving a stick shift... Do your kids ever tell you, hey, dad, why are you moving that stick around? Shouldn't you just like turn the wheel? What's the point of moving the stick? Do you listen to your kids tell you, oh, yeah, that's a good idea, sweetie. I, I shouldn't shift. I should just stay in first gear. Yeah. Uh, so is is that not stupid? You literally just admitted you have yeah, no yeah. idea what Israel should have done. You have no you have no understanding of fucking warfare in general, let alone urban warfare tactics. You have no idea what Israel should have done. You have no idea whether or not they're conducting ethical military operations, but you still criticize them. Why? Because you can just read minds, e even though you don't know anything. You can still like just detect if a mind is evil. Let uh, let uh, let me think about this, Richard. Let me uh, let me think about this, and uh, I want I want to listen to everything that we have said now, and I want to uh, want to get back to you. Uh, I listen to to everything that you said, and I uh, I, I know that you're a fucking smart guy. It just um, it fucking hurts to fucking see all the fucking civilians getting fucking killed. Yeah, and that's Hamas's that's, fault, and, and that's entirely Hamas's fault. But you decide to blame no, Israel no. because you're an anti-Semite. Yeah, but I, I still, I still don't believe it's uh, it's uh, it's the one it's one side's fault. I, I, no, I still don't believe no, it's no, 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 it's not. It, it's the fault of the jihadist terrorists that want to exterminate Jews. Uh, again, Hamas in their charter says they want a yeah, worldwide yeah. caliphate where one day all Jews will be killed. You're telling me it's Israel's yeah. fault? No, it's the terrorists' fault. They're the ones yeah, who initiate yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. violence, yeah, and Israel's the yeah, one who ends it. It's just the same thing in the in, in the Old Testament, right? It's just a, it's just the same thing. I so don't a, care about yeah, the Old Testament. Never, I don't care about the fucking argument. Bible. None of that has anything to do with it. Blame Hamas. Course, They're the ones who are initiating the violence. They're the ones that are America. using human shields. They're America. the ones trying to maximize civilian casualties. America. Okay, Richard, you, it's you, all Hamas's fault. But you're an anti-Semite who hates fucking Jews. Do, do you know what the Malachites were? Do you know who who they are in the Old Testament? Oh, you know okay. So you're telling you me know, a you, liberal democratic society you don't know. Uh, is you don't know. You don't yeah, know right, are. right. Okay, so a liberal That's democratic, you know a liberal you know democratic That's fucking Christian. society that secular is That's relying on the Bible for their moral beliefs. That's what you're telling me. The Jews are listening to the Old Testament to inform how they should conduct warfare. A secular liberal democratic society. Guess guess what the Palest guess what the Palestinians' holy book is, dipshit. It's the fucking Quran. The Quran that says commit jihad. 
uh, it's okay to exterminate races of people to get their money or, or at least enslave them and collect a jizia. That's the holy book they listen to. They're not secular. They're not democratic. They're a fascist fucking state. They listen to the Quran that says it's okay to keep slaves. It's okay to commit tribal genocides. It's okay to fucking kill Jews because I they're non-believers. You have no idea to answer I asked you a question. Do you remember the question? Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Complete double standard. No, You're fucking claiming that the, that that a secular, liberal, democratic society is informing yeah, their secular. ethical beliefs based on the Old about. Testament, they and you're like using that as a criticism secular. against Jews. But for some reason, you overlook the fact that Hamas relies on the Quran for their fucking uh their fucking uh beliefs, and they're not a secular, democratic, liberal society. They just follow the Quran. The Quran says it's okay to commit tribal genocide. The Quran says it's okay oh, to kill man. gay people. The Quran says it's okay to kill, uh, keep slaves. The Quran says it's okay to kill children. That is exactly what fucking Hamas is doing. Clearly, they're it, like, like it's literally stated in their charter. They literally cite the Quran in their charter. But then you're accusing Jews of relying on the fucking Old Testament when they're a secular, yes. liberal, democratic society. No, they are not secular. What the fuck are you talking about? They're a secular, democratic, liberal society. No, they are not. Show me where in their fucking constitution it references biblical beliefs. Where? I don't give a fuck about the... They, they have separation from church and state in their fucking constitution. They're secular, you idiot. If they weren't secular, please explain to me how there are Arab Muslims living in fucking Israel with the exact same rights as Israeli Jews. Richard, Richard, Richard. Netanyahu sends out letters to his soldiers and reminding the soldiers what the Amaleks did to you. Okay. This is a direct quotation. That has nothing to do with Israel not being a secular society. That has nothing to do with Israel not being a secular society. Netanyahu can have his own religious beliefs, and he can... Netanyahu can have his own fucking religious beliefs. Netanyahu can have his own religious beliefs. You claimed Israel is not a secular society. Let me talk. I would hang up, please. Let me talk. Oh, yeah, Let's go on about how Netanyahu is evil because he referenced a biblical passage about a people who tried to kill Jews and he used that as an allegory of Hamas. Yeah, tell me about that. Like, I care. Yeah, and how can you call it secular when they when they referring to the Old Testament where they were they, where they're talking about the, the, the Amalekites and uh, uh, they uh, like kill the men, uh, kill their children, their wives. Okay, is the is the United States a secular society? That's a fucking horrible man. Uh, like like in their constitution, yes. Uh, okay, so yeah. you're you're just like there's no point in asking you these questions. You're just a fucking idiot. You don't even understand what secular means. Of course I know what secular means. No, you don't. Really no, you don't. Apparently, when a politician has his own particular religious beliefs that he expresses publicly, it's not a secular society. You have no fucking idea what you're talking about. We have, we have, uh, we have different opinions on what the secular means. Well, my opinion's right. Your opinion's wrong. Uh, you're an idiot. You don't know what a secular society is. Just because a politician uh, expresses his own personal religious beliefs publicly, that doesn't mean it's not a secular society. So you're a fucking moron. If you're going to say any politician who expresses his religious beliefs publicly, uh, that by definition makes it not a secular society. There literally exists okay. no secular society on the planet. Okay, I uh, I see I see what you mean, but it is a, but it's a big and, and please let me like talk through this whole sentence. But it's a it's a, it's it's a big difference between saying like in God we trust and all this like God God on our side. I mean, you can still be secular about, about that, but sending out letters. Uh, that I don't care. I don't care. Uh, okay. Nothing Netanyahu has said has anything to do with the war. He has not he's mentioned already, anything about exterminating he, Palestinians. 
He has not made any suggestion that he wants to commit a genocide. I don't care if he fucking sent out a letter with some of his religious beliefs referencing a biblical passage, talking about, like, making it as an allegory about killing Hamas. I don't fucking care. I, I don't care. This is not interesting to me. I don't care. Yeah, because you have no fucking clue. That no, I don't care. I know what you're talking about. I know Netanyahu mentioned the fucking Malachites and he used that as an allegory for uh, exterminating Hamas. I don't fucking care. None of that has anything to do with anything. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Of course it has something to do with everything. Uh-huh, right. So, um... The Old Testament talk about genocide against the Malachites. And he said, and he and he says, remember what the Malachites did to you. And he sends out this letter to the soldiers, and it has nothing to do, to do about genocide. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Of course it has. Uh, weren't the Malachites like trying to exterminate fucking Jews, and that's why uh, Jews went to war with the fucking Malachites? Dumbass. Okay, so we go. We we we're gonna go like tit for tat on like the Old Testament. Is that what the word? Like, like by the way, if you wanted to make any suggestion that uh, Israeli society or Netanyahu specifically was supporting a genocide, like you you would think he would use the Canaanite slaughter as an example. Uh, the Malachites were hostile against Jews. They tried to kill them. That's why the Jews went to war with the Malachites. The Canaanites were totally different. God just told uh, told uh, Israelites that Canaanites yeah. were like an evil okay. society and they okay. needed to be exterminated. Like Netanyahu okay. never made any my fucking point, mention about the Canaanite my, slaughter. My fucking, my fucking point being, my fucking point. You don't being, have a point. When they talk, yeah. what, the, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you, you don't know what I'm gonna say. You know, uh, Netanyahu, he talk about the Bible. <laughs> Did you know he talk about the Bible? Great. There's no point. Like, this is just nonsense. You're a child. Dude, you are... You are so fucking rude, Richard. Uh, Oh, I'm rude. I'm rude to the guy who's justifying the extermination of Jews. Okay, right. Shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. You have no idea. Shut the fuck up. Oh, no, I have a great idea. Uh, Like, you you can read minds. Jews are evil no matter what they do, even when they facilitate humanitarian aid. Oh, I know they have, like, some evil scheme behind this, even when they're doing something good. Right, you're a fucking anti-Semite. You expect me to treat... You you expect me to treat you with the same respect I I give, like, anyone else? You're fucking full of shit, man. Uh Uh-huh, right. I'm the one who's full of shit, but you're the one who claims to be able to read minds, and that's how you know Jews are evil. I never said that you were putting words in my mouth. Uh, no, you did say I that. No, you did say that. You, you explicitly fucking outlined that. Oh. Look, I, I know how... Uh, I've debated yeah, enough of you idiots. Boring. I know exactly... I know exactly the fucking games you play. Shut up. I know exactly Shut the up. fucking games you play, okay? So you you will... No. Let, we, we already went over this. You claimed you, uh, Jews don't care at all about civilians... Then when I outlined all the humanitarian efforts Israel does, well, uh, they're just doing that because they're evil and it allows them to kill more people in the long run. I didn't you, you're you're just an anti-Semite. I didn't say that. Uh, yeah, you did. You, you literally did. It's recorded. It's on live stream. Everybody can see this. Everybody in the chat saw it. So you can you can try to lie and gaslight, but you're a really fucking bad liar, okay? Uh, maybe you'll, you'll convince some fucking morons, but most of the people who watch me aren't fucking retarded, okay? So you, you can bullshit all you fucking want. I, I know you're the fucking dumbass games you play. And again, you you also contradicted yourself. You said uh, you said both that Israel has a right to kill Hamas, but then you also said Israel has no right to actually conduct urban warfare operations to kill Hamas. You directly contradicted yourself. And again, it's because like you just want to kill Jews. So it, when you have opportune moments to make it seem as though. Oh, I care about everybody. I care about humanitarianism. You'll say shit like, oh, yeah, Israel should exterminate Hamas. But then when I press you on it, oh, no, Israel shouldn't have done anything. Israel should have just, you know, been okay with their civilians dying. Again, you're just an anti-Semite. You fucking hate Jews. And this is all an attempt to justify anti-Semitic hatred. That's all you've tried to do this, uh, like, this entire debate. 
I know your stupid fucking games. I know people like you. I've debated enough of you where I know all your fucking tricks, okay? So if you want to, like, I, I don't know why you keep trying. I know your dumbass games. You lost, okay? You're an anti-Semite. You hate Jews. You want to exterminate them. Fuck it. Like, it's not my fault you're a piece of shit, okay? It's so fucking black and white, and then, and then you are... You have a you have a bad way of like the of uh, of uh, discussing with people. Oh, no, that's great. That, 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 you, you that's great. Like, tell you tell work everybody work. how you, you know Jews are evil, mouth. despite you know humanitarian efforts. You, oh, you can yes, just read their sure. minds because you I know they're never, evil. Never, it's all part of some like never. Jewish plot to kill more people to make it seem as though they're this humanitarian. Uh, fucking, what the fuck are you talking about? This is not about Jews. This uh, this is about uh this is about a fucking national state and a fucking maniac for a fucking president. Uh huh. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm, I'm fucking I'm not I'm not I'm not I have nothing against the Jews. I, I, I right, you have nothing for. against Jews. You just know they're evil the and they should I not be allowed to do anything to defend for. themselves. You you have no idea, man. Right, Jews shouldn't be able to defend themselves after October seventh. I, I don't have anything against Jews. They should just die, though. They shouldn't be allowed to defend themselves. Uh huh. Like again, it's over. Okay, I I know you're an anti-Semite. I know the games you crypto fascists play. You're a crypto fascist. You just try to gaslight people into supporting no opinions bullshit. that they wouldn't otherwise hold. You're trying to convince people that the the state of Israel should be destroyed, that Jews don't deserve to live, and you're you're doing this under the guise of humanitarian interests. I know the fucking game you people play, so you you, you lost. I no. I know all these tricks. Um, but if you want to have a debate in the future and spread more stupid shit and get embarrassed again. Feel free to reach out, but I'm yeah. kind of done with this. Take care, dude. Uh. Fucking idiot.